Hello crafty friends and welcome to our second white paper scraps video aimed at helping you get your scraps out of your stash and onto your cards. Today I'm going to work with some of my larger white paper scraps and today's technique couldn't be simpler. I'm using my Zig Clean Colour Dot Markers to cover these scraps in colourful dots. I've gone for an analogous colour scheme, yellows, pinks and reds, so that when my dots overlap, as they invariably will do, they won't make mud. They'll just make a variation of pinks, reds and oranges. I find the trick with something like this is to not overthink it. Just go for it with the dots. It doesn't matter if some areas look a bit too busy and some look plain. By the time you cut them down or do what you want to do with them, they'll be fine. You can always go back in once you've finished a first pass with your colours and be a bit more accurate with where you put your dots if you want to fill up some space or if you feel there's not quite enough of one colour on a particular piece. So here are my five finished pieces, plus a few that I did as practice and one that I did with a stencil. If you haven't got dot markers, just blend some colours through a stencil, shifting the stencil around so that the dots overlap. You get a softer look than you get with the dot markers, but it works just as well. So as I'd chosen to use big white paper scraps, I was able to cut some panels, full card panels out of them. I used a stitched rectangle panel die and a heart die to cut a panel with a heart shaped hole in it out of this first piece. I then glued this to a piece of A4 paper, positioning it using my corner positioner on my scoreboard just to make sure it was lined up nicely. And then I scored a line in the appropriate place and folded my A4 paper in half to make a card, which I then trimmed down to the appropriate size. And the reason I did it this way is because I've run out of card blanks and this was just the quickest option for me. When I looked at my panel sitting on my card, I thought the heart wasn't quite defined enough. So I put the dotty heart back in the hole to act as a mask and then brought in my dot markers again and added a few extra dots around the edge of the heart. I then removed the heart and put the card in my stamp positioner and used Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp my sentiment, which says, all my love. And that really stands out amongst all that color and works well with the heart design. So that's the finished card, nice and simple and flat so it will go through the post easily. I did do some more with the other scraps that I put dots on. For this one I used a flower die to cut the shape and a speech bubble on this one. I used this high die for this. I'm not entirely sure what I would stamp in here because the high is the word so I might actually inlay something in there maybe gold cardstock so that it looks a bit more finished. This one I just did a circle. This one I used a sentiment die and I'm going to get the sentiment out and stamp in there in a tick and this was the stenciled one and I cut a balloon out of it. So let's add some sentiments into the gaps. So this one says happiest of birthdays to you. This is a silicone stamp. So I'm going to use stays on. Oops, I've stays on my finger now because stays on stamps really well with silicone stamps. So there we go, I'm really pleased with that. I think that really pops amongst all the colours. Of course, if you didn't want to die cut a hole in your circle dotty piece of paper, you could always stamp on a white shape and stick that on top. So for my flower sentiment, I've got another silicone stamp, so I'm using stays on again. And that one says, it's your day. For my speech bubble sentiment, I've got a photopolymer stamp. So I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black with that because I get good results and it doesn't stain my stamp. 
And that's just a simple happy birthday in a speech bubble. For this circle one, I've used two circle dies to cut a frame out of another scrap of white cardstock. I'm going to add it using glue just to bring some of that stitching motif towards the middle and to give it just a bit of extra something really. So this is another photopolymer stamp and it says it's all about you today. And the last one I'm going to stamp inside is this balloon one on the stencil background. And I'm going to use this stamp, it's a photopolymer one and it says party time. I've separated the words just with a pair of scissors because I don't need them joined together particularly. Uh, they're more flexible separately. So I think something like that. Have them on a bit of a jaunty angle. There we go. I rather like that. You don't have to use black ink for your sentiments. You could do them in any colour you like. You could also do them with embossing powder. That would look really nice in gold, I think. For this high card, I have decided against trying to stamp anything in the aperture. So instead, I'm going to add the word back in using this gold glitter cardstock. I think this is from Crafter's Companion. It's lovely, a nice champagne gold that doesn't shed. Because we die cut shapes out of our spotty panels, we've got these spotty die cuts left over. So you can always use these on cards or by themselves or with other elements. So you could very easily just use that high there like that for a clean and simple look. Add a heart or a flower or a balloon or a circle. And then you could pop your sentiment across the shape. You could add another die cut to bring in something else. This one might be a bit trickier to use. I'm not sure how well the stamp will show up on the spotty background itself, but it might be worth a try. So there you have it, seven cards made using some of my larger white paper scraps. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things that you can do with your own scraps. If you haven't got dot markers, you could use stencils. Alternatively, you could find some circle stamps and stamp lots of those everywhere. All right, thanks for joining me and I hope you come back tomorrow for my next white paper scraps video. Bye for now.